Alex, what was the, the, the call in the last play, and why was Corey the guy that you had out there? Yeah, just mug, mugging the quarterback. Um, you know, there, there was uh, obviously uh, the plan in place, which, you know, spotty at times without question in terms of, you know, having, having guys in second level levels of the defense but still having the ability to, to play some match coverage so that you weren't uh, void in a bunch of zones. And so uh, had the ability there, again, just to drop him. Um, and had an opportunity to, again, if the quarterback scrambled, um, and just had an opportunity, ball, ball, right place, right time. And he, but he came down with it, so uh, very proud of him. And we need to make a play in that moment. There's, there's several instances over the course of the game where we didn't make those plays. Um, and they, they took full advantage. But uh, um, we talk all the time um, about uh, the play has to be made at the end of the game to win. And, and if you're not careful, the advantage goes to the offense because they know they have to make a play. Um, and then, so from a defensive standpoint, we, we got to make sure we match that mentality wise. And I certainly felt uh, in the moment that we did, and obviously came down with it. The guy shoot that down 100 times. How special is it for him to have this kind of moment when we break through a big play moment? Yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I think for <clears throat> anybody on the roster in, in a game like this, um, to, to, to rise to the occasion. And then certainly there's, there's a number of other, you know, uh, moments in the game that guys did, did similar. But uh, still a young guy in the program and, and the guy that, uh, um, you know, I, I think all of us are, uh, you know, w waiting for that 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 moment that cat, you know, that could be a catalyst to him kind of springboard. Had a couple, of, uh, uh, I think, a week ago, and then a uh, uh, pretty big stage to to make, have one tonight. So, uh, obviously, proud of him, proud of the guys. Okay, well, how big is it? To... I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's it's such a difficult. Uh, uh, Match up across the board. I mean, you you just know going into this thing, he's going to make some plays, and you want to make sure that uh, as best you can, you can, you can limit the, the the damage. We certainly did not, by any stretch of imagination, do a good job of it. Um, but on, on the same token, is you know, in some of the two minute situations, I, I, there was what well, ended up being, I guess, two before the half, and then there at the end, is you know, trying to mix coverage and and, and uh, try to put him in a situation where he's got to read some things, make some decisions, and then. Um, you know, at, at, at the, the bulk of the game, you know, just uh, some some really good plays for you know as a defensive front to kind of get them behind and uh, you know force them to make some plays, and that, that's always a better situation to be in as opposed to uh, you know the plays he makes are just candy because they're moving the ball so well. And certainly, there was moments tonight where it was that way. You guys shut up, shut down Zach Charbonnet a lot with runs up the middle. What do you think kind of went into that? Yeah, I moved. moved uh, I'll say Tooley. I mean, the one word. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Kalen was uh, behind him. No, um, no, just you know, trying to move him around and trying to have an impact. And, and so it, it, it kind of hit a few times and kind of stuck with that. And, um, so that that was uh, that was critical. And then and obviously, it just the, the way the game turned, I think a, a little bit of it just kind of committed to the pass game. And and you know, for for us to you know, uh, to, too too many times tonight, we rewarded you know to um, you know, when the ball was thrown in the air. Okay, we, we got to make sure that. Uh, um, we're finding ways to make plays in the ball. So I think maybe, maybe a little bit of that was uh, some errors on our part. Okay, when last year you guys were 4 and you had that bad game against you at home. What does it mean to you to come back to home, to pass the year, get this game here? Uh, it means a lot to me, and not just me, but my whole team. Even the guys I was here last year, we knew what happened last year. So we kind of came in here with that chip on our shoulders. So this is a big win for just the whole team, really. Alex, after all the bumps that the defense has taken, especially in the back half of the season, Well, I mean, we, we do. We talk about takeaways equal victory. And sometimes you wish they didn't. You know, when you don't get them, you, you might like to circle something else that has such a huge impact. But if, if we needed evidence, I, I certainly think we, we got it tonight. I mean, I, I, there, there was other, other you know good moments in the game, by, by, by you know uh, without question. But uh, no, it's critical. You know, and then we, we keep talking about it. We we, can, we can't just simply have a first row seat to Caleb Williams and, and Lincoln Riley's offense. I mean, we we got to make sure that we have an impact on winning games at USC and when. Our expectation in terms of you know how we play, you know certainly uh, is higher than, than what what we've we've done. We, we've we've touched it at times, but certainly it's been difficult for us to put four quarters uh, across the board, which goes back to coaching. We got to do a better job of, of finding ways to, to get guys in position to to make some of those plays, and then um, you know having a real uh, sense as a as a as a defensive unit, you know that that 
how paramount your job is, how paramount your job is. It's hard enough to get a guy on the ground when everything's perfect, you know, and it's good quality opponents. Uh, and then, then the, you know, kind of the 11th guy with the quarterback. So, uh, no, I'm, I'm just really proud of the fight. I mean, it, it, if you could circle one thing in, in terms of a program-wide and, and, and certainly defensively, you guys, you guys just, uh, it's fun to be on the sideline with them, you know. And then uh, you may not would be fun for them to be on the sideline with me, but, uh, no, they, they fight, they scratch, they claw. It's kind of the, that, that uh, again, what a great attribute. What was the game plan with Eric Gentry? You got him out there for a couple plays. Did he have a setback or you know, it was just? Yeah, just not moving at 100%, you know, and that, that's not fair to him and obviously not fair to us to, to, to put him. Most, most importantly, you know, we, we, we hoped, we wanted to, we, we, we've been uh, itching to get him back out there and then uh, it's, it's obviously not smart to, if you're seeing the guy, you know, kind of limp as, he, as he's pursuing, that's, that's an obviously red flag. So uh, maybe a week from now we'll, uh, we'll look at it different. Did that put any more onus on Chain Lee to, to step up? And what do you think? Well, it did. I mean, I, I, I thought, uh, you know, it, it, it's tough to single out because uh, certain moments you, you highlight a lot of guys. Um, and then other moments, you see some missed opportunities. And that, that probably is, you know, the story tonight. Now, again, it's a quality, you know, an elite uh, coaching staff. Obviously, Coach Kelly does a, a, a tremendous job, and you know what you're in for uh, when you take the field against them. And then they, they got some good, uh, certainly players on offense. And um, But uh, all the same is a lot of missed opportunities as well. But, uh um, no, I thought uh, uh, you know collectively and Shane included uh, some guys made some plays tonight, which is good. How, how was the challenge this year for you compared to some other years in your career, especially first years at Princeton, you were trying to establish things? Yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, you know you, you got to look at it through a, a, a fresh set of eyes, and, and you know you, what you tried to so hard to do, and I keep talking to these guys about eleven months, eleven months, eleven months, what we mean, and. You're trying so hard to learn lessons, and teach lessons, and, and guys grow in, in time. Obviously, Cam is just a sophomore, um, and and as is, is a, is a high-level players, I'll, I'll probably ever coach. I mean, that's how um, high I think of them. But you know, on the same token, is okay. Now, now we, we got to go from freshman to sophomore year in this particular instance. And every single guy comes in at a different stage of career, and included in that, some guys come in and transfer. So it's not this one ball big picture. This is what we got to do defensively. You got to bring everybody along and. In certain ways, but you're trying so hard to learn lessons on the practice field. You're trying so hard to learn lessons in the meeting room, and football just doesn't always allow that. You know, unfortunately, you got to do it on, on Saturdays, and you got to you, you got to um, you know touch the stove and get burned sometimes. And, and that's probably a, if I'm critiquing the, the, as a defensive staff, and per, particularly me, is not doing a good enough job of finding ways to, to get some of the things across to the guys in in, in the practice setting, the full the full scrimmage, or, or uh, some of those things. Uh, uh, the guys have a, a real understanding about how, how important everything we do, but everything we're preaching, everything we're saying is not because it's magic, but 11 dudes doing it becomes uh, a whole lot more magical. But uh, a lot goes into it. So, but uh, no, we, we as a coaching staff, you don't make any tackles, you don't do any of those, and they, they do that. And uh, um, proud, proud of the coach. Let's hey, do one more each hey, for Coach Grinch. Kalen, for the guy that were on the team last year that saw UCLA put up all the points, how important was it to, to get this win and, and shut down UCLA for? Last drive. Uh, like I said, uh, last year we knew what happened to us last year, but that was last year. So we kind of came in here with a chip on our shoulder. We knew this is a new team. We had a different mindset coming in this year. So we knew what we wanted to do coming in this game. And I did it. Alex, you've been part of some pretty big uh, iconic college football rivalries. Now, having experienced this, how does this one stack up? Well, I, I think, you know, obviously, you know, quality programs, uh, you know, in, in both cases, but, but certainly at this specific year, and obviously every year is different than that. You know, rivalries really become rivalries when you get two quality teams, and it's a back and forth, and, um, you know, it, it, uh, um, and, and both staffs and, and, and players and, and some, some, some highlight reel type of, type of guys on the field. And uh, not always fun to be the defensive uh, in, in some of these either. But, but you also know the, the, the fight, the scratch. I mean, both teams are, it, this thing's going to go, uh, go the distance. And uh, um, no, I thought it was big time. I, I thought it was big time. And I thought uh, there's a healthy respect by both programs in terms of what it means and, and the guys. And um, and then very fortunate uh, this time around to be on the, on the plus side of it. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.